One of my favorite quotes ever is from the late Jim Valvano. He says, if you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. This is a quote that I honestly try to live my life by. I think it's really important to have fun, to enjoy life, but also to be brought to emotion. And it's something that really resonates with me, but also what pushes my thinking, what challenges me and gives me thought about what I'm doing personally and professionally. This quote, if you laugh, you think, you cry, is also a way that I actually like to set up my presentations, how I do my keynotes. I look for these opportunities to create, you know, opportunities for laughter, that we're laughing together in a group, that we feel that emotion and passion to the work that we do in our respective fields, but also to really to push thinking. Being someone who's done keynotes and speeches and presentations for at least the last 12 years, I, I really love this opportunity. I love the ability to try to get people to think different, to feel something, but also to have an experience when you have these presentations. And then March 2020 happened. And what I mean by that is I was traveling, speaking in person, and I felt that I had this really good framework of how I would do my presentations, but it was a lot harder in a virtual environment. And I'll tell you straight up, the George that spoke in March 2020 in a virtual environment is nowhere near as good as the one that I am now because I learned that some of the foundational things were still really important in both scenarios, whether you're online, whether you're face-to-face, but how do you bring them together in a virtual space and why is that so important? And so I wanted to create this course to look at how do we actually create really effective presentations? How do we actually create not only something that someone looks at as a keynote or a speech, but it's an experience that it actually changes the way people think about things. It actually leads people to action because I think that a lot of times when we have keynotes, when we have these presentations, people might end up liking you, thinking that you're a great speaker, but does it actually lead them to trying something new? Does it lead them to action? And I think that for me is really important. But I also think that it's, it's in, in extremely important to actually bring our authentic self to be who we are in these spaces, not to try to mimic, you know, what someone else is or, or to be even be gimmicky, but really try to be who we are. Because I think people really resonate when they see authentic self, because it actually creates some trust in the, what you're sharing is that when they see who you are, it's much more likely that they're willing to embrace the ideas that you share as opposed to, you know, is this just a show that's being put on right now? And so as I put this course together, I thought about like, what are some of the things that are really important that also can ensure that you hold to your authentic authentic self? So I talk about these three different areas and, and I break the course down into the three parts. And the first one is like, what are the foundations of a good presentation? And I, I really try to simplify it. What are the important elements that you need to think about as you're putting a presentation together? What are some of the foundational ideas, the elements uh, of what you do in, in your work. Uh, the second part is like, what are the structures? Like, what are some structures? And and when you hear the term structure, it almost sounds rigid, right? And I think there's a lot of flexibility in things that you can actually you can actually do and how you present and, and really tailor it to your own style. But I almost like to think about how will people go through this experience? What will they feel when they're doing this? How will they actually relate to me as a speaker? And then the third part is really the, some technical aspects. How do you really bring your presentation to life? How do you go beyond um, bringing just ideas, but get people really to feel emotion, but the technical side of it is really important. And when I look at putting a presentation together, it's not just me throwing some slides uh, in a PowerPoint or a keynote or Google deck or whatever. It's about an art for me. It's really about an artistry because I want those slides to really accompany what I'm trying to say and bring it to life. I don't wanna just show videos. I want them to have a connection to a deeper story. And so those three things are, are how these are actually, you know, how this course is actually uh, tailored and brought together. But this is not just for educators. This is for anyone that, you know, works with adults, that, you know, does presentations. You know, whether you wanna be a keynote at a large conference or you're just putting a presentation together for, you know, others. And it doesn't even matter if it's an education or outside as well. This is for anyone that actually shares ideas, you know, in public spaces, no matter what your profession is. This, this is actually for you. And so when you look at this, when ultimately when we go through this course, 
yes, I'm going to talk about how you put a presentation together, some of the, the things that I do that really are helpful to me, that people walk away and they want to create something new. It is about creating, you know, really compelling, powerful presentations, but more so it's how do you create an experience for the people that you are serving, that when they walk out of these spaces, they are inspired to create meaningful opportunities, that they are moved to action. So I'm really looking forward to this opportunity to learn with you. Uh, I, I'm glad that you're taking part. Thanks.